Okay guys, so before we get started, I would highly recommend you guys watching this tutorial I did a while back, which is how to trace to learn. Now this video will give you basics of today's tutorial. And basically what we are doing here, we are dividing a painting or a picture or anything for that matter into simple shapes to build our own painting. So I would highly recommend watching that tutorial first before you watch this one. And that way you'll be, you get more clarity as to what I, what actually I am doing in this tutorial. So yeah, I would link that tutorial down in the description and I'm gonna go ahead and start with how to actually create face or how to actually go ahead and draw faces. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into this video. So for the first one, I'm using this drawing and I will link the name of the artist down in the description. So I'm just here quickly showing you how I'm actually dividing the whole face into simple shapes and lines. So this is going to help me into determining where I'm going to place the eyes and nose, the mouth, the ears and everything of that sort. So I'm going to be, I'm showing you how I divided the whole face in my head like this. So for that, you need to practice a little bit and I would highly recommend you guys to not only watch that tutorial on how to trace, but also to practice and divide as many pictures and drawings as you can because it will just help you build that muscle in your mind where you can actually do it without you know tracing over it you can just do it in your head so as you guys can see what i was doing i used this as reference on the side and again i divided the whole thing in my head i created these little circles i and the lines i used lines and circles and curved lines as well to uh, just help me guide where I'm gonna place the eyes, the nose, the ears, and everything. And this is a little fast paced, but yes, I have a few more examples after this one. So basically, I usually created this circle right above, and wherever the circle ends is where I place the nose. And I only use two, three circles. One circle is for the head, one is for the ear, and then wherever the circle is ending i create a little circle at the end of that big circle and it actually represents nose for me and wherever i have those curved lines i am actually drawing the eyes there and i also have a little line a little curved line for the eyebrows as well so yeah it's easy when you create these guides before you can go ahead and start drawing actual eyes nose and lips you can do that if you want to but it just helps doing or creating or drawing the portrait a lot better now this what this will do is you will get you know really used to using these circles and lines and you wouldn't you won't even need reference once you practice this um a lot you know once you practice this you're gonna just get it you're just gonna get used to it and you might not even need any reference for that so for the next example i'm gonna use this tilted face and again i'm just showing you how i actually divided the whole thing in my head so i just divided the first part the first part represents where the eyes are gonna come and the nose is gonna come and i Again, just place the nose wherever the main circle is ending. So yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory and I divide the face into half in whichever direction the face or the portrait is looking. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I drew the circle and I, I kind of rotated it a little bit. Now the line is also gonna be tilted as the face is tilted as well. I drew the two curved lines, one to represent eyebrows, one for the eyes and two little circles. One is right in the end of the main circle and one right underneath it, which represents lips. And this, this was pretty easy. You have to just create a little line for the chin and then you have to kind of join it with the main bigger circle. And then I went ahead and created ears as well. And I created little circles for the eyes and little circles for the eyebrows as well. Those are not circles, but a little, little something, you know, <laughs> some shape for the eyes and the eyebrows as well. And once I have those guides, what I do, I just decrease the opacity and I 
just go ahead and create new layer and uh, start just creating the actual main sketch that I am going to be needing for the painting. So as you guys can see, those little circles, I actually use those as guides and create a new layer. And here I'm actually creating clean line art. Now, as you guys can see, those little shapes for the eyes and the eyebrows helped in determining how big or small the eyes are going to be. And not only that, we are where we are going to place those. Now, again, as I said before, the more you practice this, practice this the more you're gonna get used to it and you might not even need any reference um, after some time so this is the whole idea of it all is to practice it enough first of all start dividing some paintings some pictures into shapes and drawing those then uh, once you get used to it you're gonna just naturally use these shapes to create artwork and it just gets easier easier and easier now, and in the last example, I guess this is the last example, I'm using this face. So again, I am dividing it into the similar kinds of shapes, which are circles and lines. And the reason why I use this example is because it's like a weird kind of angle for a portrait. And I just wanted to show you guys how easy it gets once you just start, you know, kind of, again, I'm saying it again, yes but kind of dividing the picture reference or whatever you're using into small, not small, but simple shapes. So yeah, I, this is how I actually in, did in my head. This is how I actually broke it down in my head. This is just to show you guys what I was thinking when I was actually drawing it from the reference. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So again, I have this reference on my left hand side. Now, one tip, if you are still new to it, what you can do, again, just watch the tutorial first, how to trace. And in that also, I recommend just divide a specific painting or whatever you're creating into shapes. Then save it as PNG with your guides and then use that as reference. So if you are still a beginner and you are just getting started and if you are having difficulty doing it in your head, then that's one way you can actually go ahead about it. And it still you're going to practice how it works and yeah, it will be much, much easier for you. Or what you can do is you can just create some guides. You can just break down the painting into these simple shapes. You can just um, just hide the picture or the main image you are dividing uh, into shapes and then just save those guys as PNG, place it on your canvas and draw over it. So these are like some simple tips and tricks you can follow if you're still a beginner. But yeah, um, I would highly recommend again just to do it in your head. Okay, so yeah, I did that. I, I, I actually found this one a little difficult because it got me, I don't know how many tries to just get this one, but yeah, the shapes still did help a lot. So it's all about practice. The more you practice, the more you're going to uh, get used to it, the more easier it is going to get. So yeah, so that's how I actually draw faces. I, I just changed the way I used to draw faces to this one. And this is much, much easier. And this way you actually build your confidence up. When it comes to drawing and it doesn't have to be a digital artwork you can do it on you can do it traditionally as well but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video